Hi everyone, I am K.S. Akshay Nivashini, working as an assistant professor in K.S. College of Arts and Science, four months in PG Department of Costume Design and Fashion. Let's discuss about a subject textile wet processing, unit 2, title, bleaching types and objectives. Definitions of bleaching. Bleaching refers to the process of removing color, strains or unwanted pigments from the material, often using chemical agent on exposure to the sunlight. Objectives of bleaching. Color removal. The primary objective is an eliminate, eliminate a natural uh, colorance of impurities and stains from textile fibers, yarns or fabrics. This process is critical for achieving a consistent and a uniform white or light colored appearance. Improve an observancy. Bleaching enhances the observancy of textile by removing a substance that may hinder the water observance. Fabric preparation. Bleaching pre uh, prepares the fabric from the further treatment like dyeing or printing by creating a clean and uniform base. Strain removal. It effectively removes and stubborn strains and contaminates that they may be present in the fabric, ensuring a final textile product meets a quality standards. Type of chemical used in hypochloride. Sodium hypochloride. Commonly known as an household bleach, it is widely used for bleaching textile papers and other materials. It is available in different concentrations. Calci calcium hypochloride used as a bleaching agent in textile and pulp industry. Potassium hypochloride though less common it is used in some industry applications for bleaching. Definition of hydrogen peroxide bleaching. The hydrogen peroxide molecules contains an oxygen and during the bleaching process, it leaves an oxygen which reacts the color causing components breaking them down and removing the color. Scouring and bleaching of wool, silk, nylon and polyester wool. Wool covering involves and removing the natural inputs such as grease, dirt and residual chemical from the wool fabric. Silk. Silk covering aims to eliminate the searching and proteins coating on silk fabrics. This is achieved through a combination of heat, water and mild alkali solutions. Alkali solutions. Nylon. Scouring. Nylon involves or removes and residual oil, lubricates or impurities left from the manufacturing process. Polyester. Polyester covering focus on removing any finished agents, oils or impurities that may present on the fabric. Bleaching. Wool. Hydrogen peroxide is often used in wool bleaching, wool bleaching is a silk. Hydrogen peroxide or other mild bleaching agent are used in silk bleaching to lighten the color and improve the dyeing properties. Nylon. Nylon bleaching involves the uses of peroxide or other bleaching formulations to lighten the color and prepare the nylon for dyeing or further treatment. Polyester. Hydrogen peroxide is commonly used in the polyester bleaching to achieve a consistent and color and prepare the fabric for subsequent dyeing or finishing process. Objectives of moisturizing: Increasing luster and shine. Moisturizing and enhance the luster and shine of cotton fibers, giving the fabric a more attractive and luxurious appearance. Improve the strength. The process of moisturization increases the tensile strength of cotton fibers, making the fiber more durable and resistant to wear and tear. Enhance an observancy. Moisturized cotton inhabits to improve the observancy properties, making it more comfortable to wear and suitable for various applicants in textile industries. Better dye affinity. Moisturizing cotton has been increasing affinity for dyeing, allowing for more vibrant and uniform color observance during the dyeing process. Reduced shrinkage. Moisturization can lead and reduce a shrinkage of fabric, providing a better dimensional stability and maintaining the shapes and finished products. Chainless moisturizing. Chainless moisturizing is an advanced technique used in the moisturization process for cotton and other cellulose fabric. Thank you for watching.